Welcome to Grand Quiz Auto, the show which separates the sump plugs from the spark plugs. And here are your hosts, Elisa Portelli and Wayne Kershaw. <laughs> Keep it rolling. Lovely. Oh, I don't know what it's like. Do you know what? That smell gets worse and worse every week. I've got to told you not to suit. mention it. We're not on smell vision you know. Just it's television. Terrible. Absolutely terrible, it really is. Right, well, we're going to get on now. We're going to have a, a look and see who our contestants are. So, Pete, who are they this evening, please? Well, Chris is an IT boffin but still enjoys tweaking his mate's older cars, although he drives a flashy and fast Saxo VTS. He loves all cars, from classics to customised. Gary is currently behind the wheel of a Rover 220 Turbo, but his dream cars include the Skyline and Elise. He once blagged a drive in a Ferrari 355, and he's still getting over the G-Force pull. John is a Mazda 626 driver. However, the low point of his motoring life came when his beloved 2-litre 4x4 Cavalier seized up on the motorway at 3 in the morning. So, Elisa and Wayne, do your worst with them. Do our worst with them, eh? We've been, we've been told from the man above, Pete's told Do us. our worst. We do a pretty bad job of it, is it? Is, we don't do. we? Really? We don't need any encouragement. <laughs> we don't need any encouragement But well, listen, whatsoever. before we go any further, I feel the need. You keep calling my suit, mm -hmm. and you've referred to its odour at the moment, but I need to show the people out there your trousers. Just stick your leg up. Let's have a look at your trolleys. <laughs> oh, Come on, go. girl. There you go. Up. There you go. Hey, look at them, eh? <laughs> what a lovely... She goes out boogieing in them. Nice one there, Melissa. Thanks for embarrassing Good job me. we can't see the bottom of your all the programme. It'll put people off. Easy tiger, <laughs> easy tiger. Let's go on because our first game tonight is called Bits and Pieces. And here we show little pieces of a car before revealing it in full. Points are awarded for the first to buzz in with what car we are looking at. Are you ready, boys? I think so. Yes. Fingers on the buzzers and look at your monitor and we'll look at car number one. I don't even know what that was on the car. Never mind anything else, what car it was. I'm sure it's a car. <laughs> Chris? It's a Lexus GS300. No, it's not. But do you know what? I'm going to give you one point, actually, Chris, because it's a Lexus GS430. Oh, and that was quite close, wasn't it? <laughs> that was very close. So I'll give, you, I'll give you one point for that. But for everyone at home, you can have a look. Let's roll the tape and see what. You got that very quick, actually, didn't very you? Very quick indeed. Sadly. I must admit, all Lexuses look the same to me. They're very posh, aren't they? No, they don't. I would have known that. Oh, of course you would. <laughs> Not. Right, OK, let's take a look at car number two. So remember, fingers on the buzzers. As soon as you, uh, you know what it is, then buzz in, OK? Here we go. Roll the tape. Come on, somebody's got to hazard it again. in the studio. Go for it, boys. Go on, be wild. We have a take. John. Is it Ford car? No, it's not. Keep the tape rolling. Come on, one point, guys. It's a Honda Civic. John, you can't have another go because you've already got it wrong. <laughs> well, I've got a Honda Civic. Yes! <laughs> oh, that isn't Covering obvious, it. is it? <laughs> you owe John a point there, but yes, you what got a point there. That? Well done. <laughs> All right, things on the buzzers, looking at your monitors. Let's look at the last guy. Here's car number three. They're not very brave, these guys, are they? They don't like having a guess. Not jumping in there. Oh, Gary. Gary. I thought it was a Renault McGann scene, but I think it's a Vauxhall Corsa, you know, the new one. Do you know what? You thought wrong. Because you had to take your first answer and you're not allowed a second answer. Not that it's right, it might not even be right. So let's carry on with the tape. John. Is it a new Vauxhall Corsa? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so horrible. Yeah, he owes you a point there, Gary. <laughs> We'll carry on rolling the tape so you can actually see, but yes, it is a Vauxhall Corsa. Well done. OK, we're at the end of that round, so I'm not quite sure actually what the scores were because everyone was all over the place, weren't they? <laughs> but our Pete will know. What do you think, Pete? And at the end of the first round, Gary's on the blocks and Chris and John have got two points each. Well, this is round the bend now, and in this game, our contestants take turns to guide a blindfolded Wayne around a video game driving course. This is obviously testing their capability as a co-driver. So, Wayne, get into position. Now, Chris, you're going to go first. You've uh, okay. picked the short straw, I'm afraid. <laughs> so you need to tell him, you know, left, right, accelerate, stop, and so on. Turn round, because he tends to go backwards. Quite I will obey so. your every command. <laughs> Not. Are you ready? <laughs> I'll count you in. Three, two... 
One, go. Accelerate. Okay. Right, right, oh, right, 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 right. Left, 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 left. Go, left, 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 left. Accelerate. Right, 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 right. Accelerate. <laughs> left, 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 left. Oh, right, 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 oh. right, right, right. Can you get reverse on that? Yeah. Go on, back it up, back it up. Right, right, right now. Right, forward. Forward, right, right. Back it up a bit, back it up a bit. Wayne, you're line. useless. Right, forward and right, forward and right. There we go. Straight up, left, 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 left. <laughs> <laughs> back it up a bit, back it up a bit. Oh, no. <laughs> I can't even see it, but I'm enjoying myself. Wait, how nice. long have you had your um, test? When did you pass your test? Long did you have test, license? what's that then? <laughs> You're useless. I'm really sorry about that, Chris, I really am. How do you think right. he did? Uh, not that well, I wouldn't have thought, no. No, no, well, over to Pete. Well, given that he's driving for everybody, I think I might be all right. <laughs> well, I don't know about that, because Pete will tell you. What do you think, Pete? Well, Wayne took out a farm gate there, but at least he didn't take a fence. <laughs> but anyway, we'll have a look at the other two later on, and we'll give you scores towards the end of the programme. I don't know, Pete's gags are getting worse than yours, Wayne. That's I know, it's funny isn't though, it? isn't it? Well, now we yourself. play Show Sorry. As Your Badge, because this is Wayne's game. Because he's going to show the contestants vehicle badges, and all they have to do is guess which manufacturer they are from. Now, he's going to do his little dolly bit now, OK? Dolly so, you ready, boys? <laughs> <laughs> right, guys, potential of 16 points here with this. So, get your fingers on the buzzers. Are you ready? And this is your first one. <laughs> and that's so, Chris. Proton. Proton it is, too. Oh, he's off for a good start. Here we are. What's this one, guys? And it's Chris again. AC. It is. Wow. Can you get this? This is a real difficult one, so take your time with this. <laughs> <laughs> what is that one, Chris? Ford. Oh, yeah, yeah. Why don't they ever believe me? This one. And what? Gary, you're in there. VW. It is a VW Volkswagen. Well done. How about this? Chris again. Nissan. Nissan. It is. How about this one? Come on, John. Yeah. <laughs> What's MG. that one, John? MG. It is an MG. Nice one. Here we go. One more. And it's John again. Chrysler. It is a Chrysler. Final one. Last one, boys. Gary. Renault. No. Over to Chris. Triumph. Triumph it is. Nice one. Oh, <coughs> one point there for Chris for the end one. Seems like you did quite well there, Chris. But again, the man who knows all about the scores is Pete. What do you think? Well, Gary and John are still trailing behind with two and six, but uh, seeing the others in his rearview mirror, it's Chris Turner on 11 points. OK, it's time now for Gary to drive Wayne round the bend. Now, Gary, you saw how Chris did, so you want to do better than that, don't you? Mm -hmm. Right, you OK, Wayne? Wayne, are you all right? I'm fine. You've got a bit of trapped wind. Because your suit seems to be getting bigger. You, know, <laughs> you are that close. You are that close, I tell you. <laughs> One uh, three. Good job we're a distant apart, otherwise I'd be I know, it's things, a good job. You? Right, put your blindfold on. That's what you say to all your clients. <laughs> oh, Ooh. sorry. <laughs> so, <laughs> Gary, quick, are you ready? Yep. Are we ready? I'll count you in. Three, two... You're going to add it later. Three, two, one, go. Accelerate. Go, go, go. Don't rush me. Go! <laughs> it's a right hander coming up. Right a bit, right a bit, right a bit, left a bit, left a bit. Left, left, hard left. Straighten up, full power, straight on. Go. Go, go. Straight, straight, carry on straight. Left a bit, left a bit, left a bit. Right a bit, a little bit. <laughs> I have not been this far before. <laughs> Reverse. Reverse? Yeah. Oh, I've done that before. Right, right. Go. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Right. <laughs> straighten up, straighten up. Left, 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 left. Oh, not backwards. <laughs> you're out of time. Do you know what? <laughs> you go, you're absolutely terrible. You go little, little right and you go, wah. I don't you? do things by halves. I only do things <laughs> a lot. I don't know. Pete. How do you think he did? Well, um, I do apologise, Gary, on, on all of us here at Granada Television that he's such a terrible driver. But when you said straighten up, I saw him straighten up in his chair, which is quite amusing. We'll, uh, we'll give the scores later on here on Grand Quiz Auto. <laughs> right, 
Right, well now we come to our pit stop where we throw some general car knowledge questions at our contestants so they can fuel up with some vital points to see them into part two. Now it's two points for a correct answer and one point for a pass over, okay? Got your fingers on the buzzers? Let me see your buzzers. Show us your buzzers, lads. Well done. Okay, ready? Here we go. What is the device called that records HGV driver's hours and rest periods, Gary? Tachograph. Correct. What should you do if you're shown a blue flag during a motor race? Gary? Slow down. No, it's allow a leading driver to pass you, so just let him pass. What does RPM stand for, John? Rest per minute. Level. Yeah, correct. Which car company owns the quick fit chain? Uh, John? No, sorry. No. Gary? Do you? No, it's Ford. What is the name of Honda's performance version of the Accord? Gary? The... No, it's gone. No. Type Chris, R. It's Type R. One point for you there. What car did Steve McQueen drive in the film The Mans, John? Gary? Porsche. Porsche. Oh. 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 Nice Shall I give him a point or not? What do you think? Be generous, give him a point. All right, one point for you there, Chris. Don't want to. Well, <laughs> yeah. well done. OK, how do you think they did? Uh, I think they did very well, I, but I knew all the answers to did all you? of those, yeah, because I've course. got them written down on this piece of paper. Oh, my. Don't tell everybody things like that. Right, Pete, give us an update, please. OK, Gary's still stirring those Luke ears at four. Uh, John's piling on the revs at eight, but in the lead, it's Chris with 13 points. Well, in part two of Grand Quiz Auto, John gets a chance to actually drive Wayne around the bend. And we're going to also do some highway code testing as well. So join us after the break. Hello and welcome back to Grand Quiz Auto. Now, before we go on to our next video round, i just got to tell you that we've had a letter in from Mrs Baker. So this is about you, Wayne. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. I'm it goes listening. on to say how you know, brilliant she thinks Grand Quiz Auto and so on is. And it says, Elisa, you are so lucky to have such a tall, dark, handsome co-presenter with you with such wit, <laughs> intelligence and driving skills. He can take me out any day. And then it says, P.S. I'll wash his suit for him. Oh, Here thank you, you very much. So Elisa. I think you need That's to look in the much. camera and say thank you, you very know much to Mrs. Thank Baker. Thank you very much, Mrs. Baker. But I know it's all a load of rubbish because you stated that Grand Quiz is entertaining and so on, <laughs> and we know. Anyway, we'll move on from that, yeah. <gasps> oh, that's very, very naughty. Right, we're going to uh, remind ourselves now of what the scores are so far, so it's over to you, Pete. OK, it's Gary on four points, John's on eight, but flooring the pedal with 13, it's Chris. Right, it's back to the games now in Stop, Look and Listen and we're going to play some videos of some of our favourite cars and all that our contestants have to do is pay attention and ask to answer even questions later. Put them teeth in. This is the point where I have a little snooze, you know, because it's hard work is this driving like. But you guys, if your fingers are quick, you could earn 12 points. All right, looking at your monitors then, guys. Let's have a look and roll the tape. The Saab 95 is luxurious and a true executive machine but is an acquired taste. Some may dislike the curious styling and the fact that a BMW 5 Series will offer a more exhilarating drive, but this is the home of high-tech wizardry. Also, vastly improving the old 9000 model it replaced, every parameter has been tweaked and honed to give the occupants a hushed, cosseted ride. The base model is a 2-litre, offering at around 23 grand for the saloon, with the top of the range going to the 3-litre V6 Griffin at about £34,000. This monster has 200 brake horsepower, with all the extras you'd expect from the driving executive flagship from Saab. I hope you're paying attention there, boys, because I'm going to ask you six questions, all right? Fingers on the buzzers. Here we go. How is the Saab styling described? John. An acquired taste. No, nope, it was curious. Weren't listening there, Wayne, straight away. <laughs> what did the Saab 95 replace? Uh, Chris. The 9000. Correct. What brake horsepower has the top of the range Saab got, John? 200. Yeah, correct. How much does the standard Saab 95 cost, Chris? 23,000. Correct. What car is uh, compared to the Saab? Gary. The BMW 3 Series. No. Pass it over for one point, John. BMW 5 Series. Correct, one point there. How is the ride in the Saab described? No. John? Executive. No, it was hushed and cosseted. Not bad. You didn't do your homework too good, did they? I think they no. needed a few no, extra but lessons I mean, there. <coughs> I was surprised at the answer for how is the ride in a Saab <laughs> described. I'm sure they were thinking of some other answers 
but we couldn't go there. No, let's, let's, <laughs> let's just not go there. OK, we're going to carry on now. Peter, tell him off. He's really getting on my nerves today. Yes, yes, we've got his P45 ready. Now, uh, Gary driving very economically with four points. Um, kicking in the turbocharger, John at 11, but still in the lead, it's Chris with 17 points. Well, how well do you know your highway code at home? Well, we'll soon, soon see how uh, well they know their highway code here because it's past your test. Now, the lovely Wayne, he's going to uh, hold up some road signs and I'm going to ask some general knowledge questions on the highway code and all that you have to do is get them right, OK? All right, Wayne's going to go first. Show your first sign up. Have a look at this and tell me exactly what this represents. Don't all rush at once. <laughs> oh, here we go. Chris. Stop at the junction. It is actually... Well, nearly. It's not stop at the junction. Stop is part of the uh, answer. Could we just elaborate on it for a stop full Stop and engage your handbrake? No. no. It's actually <laughs> manual operated. Stop and go side. Oh, don't be so fussy. I am indeed. <laughs> right, general knowledge question here. When is it legal to use your mobile phone whilst driving? <laughs> Gary. It isn't. Correct. Ah, what were you going to say, Chris? Just out of interest. Hey, that was really... uh, <laughs> Never, because you're driving. Right. Come on. Hey, that was good. That, knowing that, I like that. I don't see any wrong in it myself. Here we go. No, I didn't say that, honest. <laughs> What's this? Uh, Chris. Uh, it was motor Gary that Oh, was it Gary first? Yeah. Sorry. No motor vehicles. It's exactly that. No motor vehicles. Right, a bit of a multiple choice here for you. What is the braking distance at 50 miles per hour? Is it 25 metres, 38 metres or 50, John? 25 metres. Wrong. Pass it for one point, Gary. 50. No, which was tw uh, 38. <laughs> there you go. Here we go, and of course I wouldn't dream of using my mobile phone whilst driving because you've seen my driving. Uh, what is this? No left turn. Gary, you are so correct, no left turn. Right, last general knowledge question here. Where can you not drive if you hold a provisional driving licence? Gary. On the motorway. Correct, well done. And finally, what's this, boys? It's not obvious. And what would that be, John? Stop and give way. It is exactly give way. Thank you very much. I think we need to give way to find out what the scores are. Very good link now. I'm getting better at this, aren't I? Well, Peter? Gary overtook for a bit, but he's still behind with 12. Uh, John's just one point ahead at 13. Still in the lead, it's Chris with 17 points. Now, with Wayne in position, our final contestant, John, gets his chance to see if he can do any better in round the bend. Don't hold your hopes up high, though, no, John, will you? Hey, the can scores I... are fairly close as well, aren't they? Mm. So I feel quite responsible here. Because what happens here, if you don't know, at the end of the round, you get judged. Peter will say who comes first, second and third and so on, OK? So who he thought was, uh, was the best. Can, can so, I request a, a more competent driver? Like yeah, I know. Stevie I Wonder. You can request it, but you ain't going to get one. Stevie Wonder, He's Ray Charles. He's the cheapest Charles, we could get, I'm afraid. Okay. I could do it like that, but I've no hope anyway, so... <laughs> Here we go. OK, I count you down. So three, two, one, go. Accelerate. I am. I feel like a fairground attraction. Do the accelerate, that's all. Keep going straight. I am, I am. Keep straight, Wayne. This is the bit I can do. Right now, gently. Keep straight. I'm Left. glad I'm not your woman, gently. Do the way around. <laughs> straight on, straight on. Little left, little left, Oof. little left, straight on, accelerate, little to your right, little to your right, Wayne, you're the right, Wayne, you're on the right, you're on the right, Wayne. Tell him, John. Straight on, Wayne. <laughs> I'd get a buzzer of taxi on for you, Wayne, I won't drive. Straight on, accelerate, please. Straight on, accelerate, little to your right. Oh, to your right. Little, accelerate, just keep accelerating, left, little to your left, little to your left. Accelerate. That's it, out of time, I'm afraid, guys. <laughs> what a shame. <laughs> Do you know what? I really thought now, by this is about the tenth um, series, I'm sure that we would have, you would have got better. No, we haven't. got some distance there. Well oh, done, John. Your instructions were great, and I will take a bus home. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Useless. Right, well, let's go over to Pete and see what he thinks who should be first, second and third. Ladies and gentlemen, no real trees were harmed in the making of this programme. We're going to give Chris two points, Gary four points, and uh, John six points, which means at the moment it's Gary with 16, John with 19, and same with Chris. Oh, rather close there on the scores. Everything to play for now, because this is the final round. It's time for Checkered Flag. Now, our contestants get more car knowledge questions. Now, you remember how we did it before, boys? So it's two points for a correct answer and one for a Passover. Are you ready? Here we go. What device must you use if you break down while driving on a continent? Gary. Triangle. Correct. How, uh, who now owns Bentley? Gary. BW. Correct. What is uh, a CVT gearbox? Gary. Continuously variable transmission. Correct. Which is the only manufacturer to trademark the shape of its car? Gary. Ford. 
No, pass over Chris. Push. No, it is Morgan. What does PSV stand for? Chris. Public Service Vehicle. Correct. How far away is the number plate in a driving test examination, Gary? 75 feet. No, anybody else? I've got it in metres here. Uh, 25 feet. No, it's 25, <laughs> 20 metres. <laughs> <20 meters. laughs> <laughs> what does MOT stand for? Uh, Chris. Ministry of Transport. Correct. What does a yellow flag mean during a motor race? Gary? No passing. Pardon? No passing. Mm, no. No overtaking on the yellow mm, flag. It's obstruction on track. Proceed with caution. Where would you find a funny car? Chris. On a drag strip. Correct. I'd say outside. <laughs> I would have said outside Wayne's house, but there you go. <laughs> <laughs> with, with a funny little man inside it. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting worse, isn't it? Never mind. Well done there, guys. I'm very interested to actually find out what the scores are, because that was quite close, I think. But, Pete, what are the final scores? And final scores tonight, John with 19 points. Uh, Gary, remarkable comeback, 22. He was on the lead for a while, but he's second with 22. Uh, but it's Chris with 25, uh, thanks to that little spurt at the end. It's always been my problem. <laughs> <laughs> What do you like? <laughs> Easy tiger. <laughs> well, well done anyway, Chris. Congratulations. Gary and John, sad there, but never mind. You've enjoyed yourself? Mm -hmm. Yeah, thanks very much. Good. Well, you don't go away empty-handed because our contestants get our grand quiz auto goodie bags. But let's see if Chris has got enough points to carry him through to the semi-final. Let's have a look. There's the board there. Oh, unfortunately, no. Chris, you haven't got enough there. You can see you've got our six semi-finalists. We've got Sam Alberstony, we've got Simon Holmes, Carl Swanson, David Reed, Stephen Smith and Kevin Burt Whistle. So bad luck there, Chris, but thank you very much for coming in. Thank you. Well, that's it. Our heats are over and our six semi-finalists are confirmed. Join us next week as Grand Quiz Auto starts to get a little bit overheated. We'll be there, won't we? I'll be there. You'll be there. You, you lot be there, that's all. You make sure you are. We'll see you then. Take care. Bye.